The countdown has begun for Paper World Middle East 2019, the region's premier trade platform for the paper, stationery and office supplies industry will take place from 18 to 20 of March at the Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Centre with a special new theme this year of More Than Paper. And I'm here with Alexandria Robertson, the show director of Paper World Middle East. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Alexandria. Thank you. More than paper, it's a, yeah. a new thing for paper brands uh, globally. Um, tell us um, the reasons behind introducing this new sort of theme behind the show. Yeah, I mean, we're going into our ninth edition this year for Paper World, and particularly here in the Middle East, Paper World Middle East, we are very key on promoting what is other than the paper stationery office supply, which is the core of the business, which it's fundamentally been. Mm -hmm. So for us, moving into 2019, it was important that we had that key tagline to symbolize that there is so much more on offer through our visitors to be able to come through and see the range of play items, creative items, gifting items. Office and school is still there, but it was very important to make sure that we managed to keep that more than paper theme through throughout the show this year. And over the years, of course, you've introduced a lot of new elements of the show, mm -hmm. and of course, that's kind of bringing on the uh, more than paper theme. Mm -hmm. What is new for 2019? So for 2019, what we've done is we've highlighted the corporate gifts section, and we this was a new product section we introduced last year, which was really something that the industry warmed to and needed because there was a gap in the market for that. And obviously hand in hand in the office environment, corporate gifts is part and part of a daily basis of what people obviously have to do with their customers. And we focused on that. We actually had a new key visual specifically dedicated to that, which was really encouraging for exhibitors. And we, th we hope the visitors as well have recognized this. Aside from this, we have um, some good seminar content that we're providing for the visitors, uh, particularly for the Play, uh, play World uh, focused seminars, as well as the African market, as well as the remanufactured printing market. So there are very core topics which are industry specialized which we feel will really help the visitors engage and make sure that they enjoy their visit other than networking and doing business with their exhibitors and of course there's a, a new sort of competition at the play world village the there mystery is, box yes you know, how could i forget the mystery box so yeah that, i mean that's the, the fun element of it isn't it really so yeah alongside um the already running rap star competition we have a mystery box competition which is uh, run by Qualitex and Gravitas, the, the local partner, and it is where it's where balloon artisans will be able to create some magical design items from whatever is in this, this box exclusive to them. And the winner actually gets a very good prize, which is very related to that, that the industry of ballooning itself. So um, I've been to the seminars that Gravitas and Qualitex have run. They're very good seminars. So um, I'm really hoping to create some good energy around this, this, this edition. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's quite an interesting thing, isn't it? I mean, um, when you're looking at uh, balloons, it's, it's very niche. But when you're looking at uh, weddings, special events, themed events, um, it's, it seems to be sort of catching on in the industry, is that right? I think it's an on-trend thing at the moment. I think what you're noticing is you're seeing more outdoor activities associated with balloons and it's, it's, it's amazing what you can do aside from just an average balloon to say happy birthday. It's beyond that, it's so much more. And you're right, people are using them for their own personal events, they're using them for weddings and some of these structures that they're having, they're using them for pop-up shops or any industry events and malls, activations, because they're very eye-catching and they're very... They're very sturdy, believe it or not. You know, if you put a few of them together, then suddenly they create this, this marvelous illusion of, wow, I didn't realize a balloon could do that. And it's much more than what we're used to as kids. You know, when you think of a balloon competition, you think, oh, is it gonna be the clown making, you know, the toy or something? It's not, it's not that primitive. It is serious, serious business. Mm. And it's uh, very well known in, in the Americas. So mm. I'm looking forward to seeing what we get. Let's talk about the Leatherworlds uh, Pavilion at uh, mm -hmm. Paper World Middle East. It's um, another, I guess another sort of new kind of dimension of the show, yeah. uh, new vertical mm -hmm. uh, of finished goods mm -hmm. and, and the leather, uh, leather goods. Um, how's this been for the show and um, what can sort of exhibitors, sorry, visitors expect to see at this portion of the show? So what we did in 2018 is what we decided to put Leather World alongside Paper World to offer the synergy between the finished goods products and also there was already finished 
leather goods within Paper World. So aside from the office market within the leather stationary items, your portfolios, your executive briefs, um, we also, within Leather World, we have the more fashion items, which is very conscious here and a hot topic in Dubai and the Middle Eastern region. So what we find is that they, this, this was the first year, 2018 was the first time we did this and we've continued with that for 2019. And what you'll see is you'll see a, a beautiful range of nice finished leather goods from South Africa, from Thailand, from Indonesia, from India. And they are representing not only exclusive uh, skins that they've used from very exotic leathers, but also the standard bovine leathers that you would experience. And it's like walking into a nice little showroom in Dubai mm. <laughs> that, that they're looking to, to, to reach the trade market here in, in Dubai and, and Middle East. So it's, it's, it's complemented paper world, mm. which I find the synergy whenever you can create more for the visitor experience then you're winning from, from both sides, from mm -hmm. both perspectives. So. Uh, the seminars, you're just finalizing the seminar program, a two-day seminar program at Paperwood Middle East. Um, what can visitors expect to see here? So what we found is having introduced the seminars last year, it just adds that extra bit of educational content, which sometimes uh, visitors look to learn more from their experience from the show. So in this edition, what we're doing is we're creating elements to focus on certain areas and topics within paper world. So key elements which a lot of uh, visitors and exhibitors look for is the African market, and it's a hot topic. So we've obviously tied up with one of our media partners regarding this and uh, Business Guide Africa, and we make sure that uh, he provides some very strong content about how to do business in Africa. It is sometimes a different market in which to approach. So this is a really key content, which I think is a must for people to attend. Mm. Aside from that, we're actually launching um, for this year, the Play World section, we've got some very good speakers coming over to talk about children's development in early stages and early life, and also leadership skills within children and how they develop amongst the toys that are with them. So I think this is a very good topic to be discussing amongst the population here. This is a very youthful population here, and there's all the, the growing numbers of, of children mm. going into early um, stage schools and stuff like that. It's mm. really important to, to progress the nurturing side of it. So that's something to look forward to. And it's a work in progress. There's mm. always more. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you've been involved with as a show director for Paper World Middle East for a number of years now. Mm. Um, and of course, you've been involved in that whole sort of evolution of the show to yeah. where it is now. Yeah. Um, tell us about some of the more prouder sort of achievements that you've, that you've <laughs> had with the show. Oh, well, I mean, Paper World is, and Play World and, and Leather World itself are, are all very um, attached to my heart with a lot of meaning because for Paper World, this is, you know, I've been running it since 2013. We're coming into the ninth year. Tenth year next year is going to be sending a great narrative about 10 years paper world. Um, and what I've seen is a, is a nice trend of increased participation from local distributors and wholesalers and also from international pavilions as well. Um, what you find is you get, depending on the market situations, region to region, is you, you see an influx of countries exhibiting from one side and also you see a range of distributors here focused on their mission to promote them, their products. Mm. Um, I think it's important to know that the, the office and stationery market, play and creative market as well, can only be so big here in this region. And I think um, in terms of the development that we have, it has been steady and it's been consistent. And I think that's a good strong message to show considering we don't know what will happen in the future, but definitely the goals moving forward mm. are to introduce more consumer goods related um, products into the show going beyond mm. 2020 um, to really offer that user and visitor experience to not only just hone down what you would get in office and play, uh, office and schools, you would also get, um, you're finding a lot of people being contractors, I mean, being, you know, working from home and doing their own self. Uh, employment side so there's there's a variety of ways that we can look at approaching and developing paper world in the future and I'm excited to see where it's going to go more than 6,000 uh, visitors are expected to attend yes. from across the Middle East and Africa um, and of course we've touched on the future of paper world Middle East um, next sort of three to five years mm. uh, what are you looking forward to the most it's the future office experience it's mm. it's how we see it developing into the modern world. I mean, we're here in the modern world, we've been here for a while, but we know that we're operating slightly behind the rest of 
Europe, so to speak. So when I compare myself to Paper World Frankfurt and uh, the other shows that we run globally within the brand, it's interesting to see the different elements of exhibiting products that are on display. So definitely I can see the shifting market within the future office experience of what we're offering um, every, every office in, in Dubai and the Middle East and North Africa. Um, products wise there are some new exciting things coming from from next year onwards so which will be announced I think during paper world um, so I'm 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 sure this will bolster what we have as already good strong show and I think as a, it will it will also bolster the visitor numbers in terms of what we're looking at for the future. One of the things we haven't really spoken about yet, mm -hmm. and that's also another sort of key points of, or mm -hmm. key theme, or a key uh, feature of Paperwood Middle East, mm -hmm. is of course the green room. Yeah. Sustainable and uh, sustainably, sustainably produced and sourced uh, paper and office, office supplies. Yeah. Uh, uh, in this region and at Paperwood Middle East, um, is that sort of a, also a growing trend? It is, it is. It's, it's a really, you know, we must put our finger on the pulse on that because we can't let slip. This is a very big issue for the world in a, in a whole. And I think we must make sure that we are economically conscious about the green environment and moving forward, which is why it's really important that we get that information from our exhibitors to see how it is that they're adjusting to that landscape. And I think we're going to have some really good products in the green room. Uh, judging from the way that economic, uh, the economical, um, environmentally sustainable products are moving forward in Europe, mm. so I think we've got some strong contenders to discuss from and to be on display that they're going to be showing in the, in the green room this year. And I think the more we can do, the better the better it is for our future and for the children's. Oh, thank you very much. For <laughs> thank you. Time. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at Paperwood Middle East.